subject needs a bit of uh, your participation in order for us to understand <coughs> because when you have somebody <coughs> telling you what religion is about we never seem to understand so the topic is should Ashura be our identity is that correct yeah okay so there's two words that we have to address here before we can start talking about this. So I want to ask you, <coughs> what is your identity? What is our identity? <coughs> is it one? Is your identity and my identity one thing? Or do you have an identity and I have another identity? And she has a different identity. Can somebody help? Depends what you're talking about. Okay, so if I ask you right now, what is your identity, Hassan? As Hassan, uh, I'm a Shia Muslim living in the UK. Okay. There's one identity. Okay, so I'm a Shia Muslim living in the UK. <coughs> Anybody else have a different identity to him, <coughs> other than his name? I guess it's a personality that makes up the right answer as well, you know. I mean, me and him do similar modules, but you know, our makeup is different. You know, what we, what we study, <coughs> what we do, our activities, how we act. We wear different clothes as well. Okay. So, in that way, the answer to your question could be that every identity is different. Okay, so what's your identity? Well, I can't give you a break on everything. <laughs> um, but to group it, I could say I'm a Shia. I'm Hassan, Shia Muslim. Yeah, just like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you should ask Hassan Norazada. Yeah, Hassan Norazada, Shia, living in the UK, who. Uh, okay, let's ask the sister. I'd correct that. I'd say Muslim Shia instead of Shia Muslim because it's very important to identify yourself as a Muslim first um, because that's what we are first and foremost and we need to keep unity within Islam first. It's nice to be scrupulous, yeah? Thank you very much. Yeah? Anybody else have a different identity? <coughs> I'm Khoja Shia. He's going to tell you off when you go outside the room. <coughs> he didn't learn from your comment. <coughs> okay. So uh, there's no point me keep on asking because we're just going to get the same answers. So I hope you see where this is going. And uh, if you want to ask anything that's burning in your, in your mind, then do so, stop me. <coughs> Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. <coughs> uh, the floor is still open, so don't worry. Now, your identity, your identity was similar. 
okay? In terms of words. But you say it's different. When I asked you to describe it, you couldn't describe it. Okay? If I still ask you to describe it now, you'd go through a list. Okay? And your mind would process a list whereby you would tell me how you're different from Hassan. But where are we going here? Are you going to sit here and tell me everything you've done from when you were four years old until second year medicine or third year medicine or whatever? Is that what your, is that what your identity is? And hence, is that, what, is that same criterion what bases, let's say, her identity? Where are we going? Do we understand this word identity or not? So, there's a problem there. Secondly, the other problem is Ashura. Firstly, we understand that I can't, I can't explain, classify what my own identity is. And then I ask a question which says, should Ashura be my identity? If we mention to ourselves, I'm a Muslim Shia. Why don't you say I'm Muslim Shia, Khoja, Ashurai, Karbalai, Arbaini? Why? Simply because Ashura and Karbala have really nothing to do with your identity. Could it be that if you saying all of those things could be synonymous with saying I'm Shia? What does that do with Ashura? Because it's a specific specific event to do with one of the Imams that the Shia, Shia hold to be You're right. central. So if you just say Shia, that automatically implies Ashura. Most definitely, you're, most, you're spot on. But what has it to do with you? The event? Yes. Is that what we take from it? What we take from the event? Yes. I mean, well, obviously, uh, well, Hussein's message doesn't only apply to Shias. It should apply to everyone. It's a, it's a universal message. For example, justice. But we as Shias have to uh, say, uphold that message. We have to, for example, stop like Ashura awareness week. But we have to uphold that. Okay. Um, if not, it's you know, people like Gandhi. Okay. No, we should so, do more. So we uphold events. We sing the slogans of Ashura, Karbala, Imam Hussein. We put up banners on our houses. So these things, will they actually form your identity? Will they change the way you describe yourself to somebody else? What does it change about your identity? Okay, not much, yeah. It definitely does, because it changes you every time you drink water because you're supposed to think of Imam Hussein um, and it changes you every time you pray because when you thank God you're supposed to um, like obviously like, think about the Imam and um, so I suppose it does it does change you know, like every, every day life just a little bit so it does change your identity and okay. it does have an effect on you. Okay fine. So I'm asking you is your identity, is Ashura, can it be part of your identity? Can it be part of your identity? Why not? Is it your identity? I don't define myself by Ashura. Alright, but it's part of your identity, yeah? yeah? Alright. And you've only told me that because I've asked you. Okay? What about a non Muslim if he comes and asks you? If a non Muslim came and asked me, I'd say Muslim first before I said anything else. Where would you bring Ashura into it? You tell them I'm a Muslim, Muslim, Muslim. And then Shia, whatever. Yeah? You see how it's difficult to bring Ashura into it? If I had lived in Ashura, then I could come here and say, yeah, I'm somebody who participated in Ashura. 